Right start math. Math with confidence. Which one is better? What does it all mean? Well, that is what you have been asking me. And in this video, I wanna talk about the differences and the similarities between right start math and math with confidence. Might even share at the end which one I would recommend, but all right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's find out. Well, hello there and welcome to Joyful Noise Learning. Hi, nice to meet you. I am Ashley and I am a former English teacher, a current homeschooling mom to three kiddos. We've been doing this for about eight years at the filming of this video. Uh, or homeschooling. I've got a six-year-old, a nine-year-old, and an 11-year-old currently. And I love to find the joy and chaos in life and in homeschooling. And that's what we talk about here on my channel. And I hope you'll find good inspiration and encouragement for biblically-based homeschool, affordable homeschooling tips, and a Charlotte Mason-inspired homeschool. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and welcome. All right, I gotta give a disclaimer. First, before we get into the specifics, I wanna say that there is no perfect curriculum out there, okay? Okay, friends, there are many good curriculums and many of these curriculums can be good fit for your family. So just so you know, in this video, I'm gonna share my experience with Right Start Math and Math with Confidence, but you know your family best, you know your kids and you can be confident and just pick one thing <laughs> and if anything, choosing curriculum over the last eight years, what I've learned is just to pick something and not be too overwhelmed with all the other choices out there. I know there's a lot of choices, but narrow it down to one or two things, then pick one and be confident with it. Use it for a year or two and, and just use it, just stick with it. And hopefully it all comes out just fine in the end. So don't be too particular about the specific curriculum that you choose, but um, just be confident in what you've picked, okay? That's what I wanna encourage you in in this. And again, this is what I've used for my family. It may not be a best fit for other families, and that's okay. So I just wanna share with you my experience, and hopefully it can encourage you and help you with this curriculum picking extravaganza. <laughs> so I did do a review of Right Start Math when I first started my YouTube channel. It was one of the first reviews I did, guys. So if you wanna watch that full review, it's in two parts, it's in two videos. You can go watch that. Um, but that was the first curriculum I reviewed. Um, but that was before Math with Confidence came along. But oh my goodness, they're so similar, but they are different. So here's my experience, both with Right Start Math and Math with Confidence, so you can know what I've used and how I've used it. So I started with Right Start Math with my oldest, with level B actually, and it's old enough now that the cover fell off. <laughs> but I used level B for right start when my oldest was in kindergarten, and it actually took us two years to go through it. Two years for using right start level B, and she did it for kindergarten and first grade. But we loved it, I loved the songs, and I loved the games, and it was great. But uh, for my middle son, when he was in kindergarten, we did level A for right start, and that's what I used for that year. Then when I found Math with Confidence for my middle son, I used it for his second grade year. We were blessed to be able to be part of the pilot program. So we used it for free. We got them in a PDF format and we got to test it out for, for the creator of the curriculum. And then she's now printed it and second grade Math with Confidence is out now, but we use that for my middle son. And then for my youngest, I started him on Math with Confidence for kindergarten and he's now finishing up his first grade book. And then I'm gonna probably put him in the second grade book after this. Unfortunately, I haven't used any higher levels with Right Start Math or Math with Confidence because Math with Confidence uh, doesn't have them yet. So I've used up through third grade in Math with Confidence and I've used level A and B fully for Right Start Math. Um, and that's, that's what I've used. I have level C and maybe level D in Right Start but I haven't used them yet, so there's that. So Right Start Math has different levels and it goes through level H, it looks like, and they have a geometry level and they have, I think they have algebra level after that, um, but that's the levels that you get for Right Start if you wanna go through all the way. Uh, math with Confidence currently has only through second grade available, but she's in the middle of creating all the way up to sixth grade, and that's the goal for uh, Math with Confidence. All right, let's get into the specifics. Let's start with Right Start Math. 
Right Start is games based and it uses lots of manipulatives. It doesn't really have a workbook, especially in the younger levels. So from their website, they say the program uses visualization of quantities, de-emphasizes counting, and provides strategies and games for learning the facts. The primary learning tool is the abacus, a specially designed two-sided abacus that is both kinesthetic and visual. So what do they mean by that? That means kinesthetic means you're touching it. It's very tactile would be another word for that. You know that your student is touching the beads and they're seeing it right before their eyes. You know, they can visualize 10, they can visualize five, they can visualize two, they can visualize 13 or 14. Does that make sense? So that's how the abacus works. I really liked it actually, it was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> So they use grouping, number naming, so that's what the, they do with the abacus, um, visualizing and card games. So it is not your traditional math curriculum at all. It is very, very not traditional and I'm all about not using traditional things sometimes. But here's an example. Our kids used the, um, these cards before they use the abacus, but kind of along with it too. But they start looking at this and they can look at this and see, this is two. Does that make sense? It's two, even though it's not like a number written as two. This is three. So instead of looking at the number two, like the written number two and saying, this is two, they don't start with that. Right Start doesn't start with that. They start with these. So the kids are starting to visualize things before they understand that the symbol for two represents two things, okay? That's what I really liked about that concept. It is a mastery type math, which I didn't know that until now, but they do have warm-ups that review things, but it's a mastery type math and they don't introduce a new concept until you've done one concept for a while to get it mastered. So the pros for Right Start Math. I love, love, love the hands-on tactile things. I loved the games, lots of games like go to the dump when you're learning the math facts. So my kids learned how to add, what are all the addition facts that add up to 10 by playing games. So we use our card games. I loved that. Uh, my kids learned um, place value really well with our place value cards. And they learned, you know, that one and grouping, you know, one goes in, into 10, 10 or 10 ones equals 110, 10 10s equals one 100, you know, all those things. So they had visuals and tactile things to, in order to learn that. I didn't feel like it was hard to teach the kids. We just did the lesson and and it and they understood it when I when I read exactly was what was in the book. Yeah, I saw my kids understand the concepts, memorize the math facts, and they loved playing the games. Now for the cons. I don't like talking about cons, but there are some for right start. I'm so sad. Okay, it is very teacher intensive. And you've probably heard this before, but if you're new and you don't know what teacher intensive means, that means that whoever's teaching it, most likely you as the homeschool mom, you have to be there for every lesson. You sit down next to the kid, you read everything to them, you guide them through everything, especially if it's with your oldest child and they don't have a younger sibling or older sibling to play the card games with and the games with. Um, when your kids get a little older, it's better because then you can say, hey, you know, my fourth grader, can you play with the first grader this game? And they go and do that while you work with someone else. But anyway, back to teacher intensive. So especially if you're working with your oldest, you are sitting next to them, playing with them and reading everything and teaching them everything. It's not like popping in a DVD and letting them watch it and you walk away. This is not that kind of math. <laughs> so that's just something to consider. I'm not saying... I guess I'll say it's not fully a con. Maybe for some people, they have the time, they have the space. Maybe you like teaching math. Then yes, those are probably, this is a good thing. Um, but maybe for those who don't have as much time because they have more kids they're teaching, I'm not sure. But I do have a friend, Summer, she does love Right Start Math and she probably goes into, she's used it a lot longer than I have. So I'm sure she has some videos that will explain more of how she does it with multiple children. So I will link to her videos in the description here. So the other thing is it's not very streamlined. Like it just wasn't the flow that I was expecting. Like, like it was very time consuming. There was a lot of moving pieces and a lot of moving parts. I didn't feel like it flowed really well. It was like, we're doing this, now we're doing this. And I, maybe it was me at the time and <laughs> the age that my kids were at. Maybe that was it. 
Maybe I should try it again now that I have more experience, but um, I think they also have a newer edition, which is probably more streamlined, like, like a better order, like an explanation of what to do when and what to do next. Like there was just a lot of words. That, that's maybe what it is. In this teacher's guide, oh, this is the student. Oh, this is the student worksheets. Anyway, in the teacher's guide, see, I haven't marked up. There was just a lot on one page and there was a lot of words and a lot of reading. And I, it was kind of hard to keep track of where I was going and what I was saying to the child. And some of it was concepts that like I already knew and I didn't need overly explained. So I probably would have liked it if it just had the basics here and then maybe on the side it had, oh, this is why we're teaching that. I think that's what Right Start did in their older editions was they put the whys within the what's and they needed to separate it out because I was, it was just too much at, and overwhelming to try to do. So um, following the teacher's guide was a little bit difficult. Maybe in their newer edition, it's better. So go ask Summer, she can help you with that. So yeah, like I said before, there's not much independent practice. It was mostly me with them for almost 30 minutes at a time. And they weren't, at least in these earlier levels, um, and I had to sit with them the whole time. They didn't have a lot of independent practice to do something on their own because there really wasn't a workbook. And it was basically just like playing the game, but you need somebody else to play the game with. You couldn't play it by yourself. So they didn't have a lot of independent practice. Uh, but with Right Start Math, I do know it's doable. It's, it's definitely doable, even though I shared with you some of my negative experience with it. I don't want it to scare you away. Um, but what I've learned is you just do a little bit every day and you'll get more consistent with it over time as you learn the methods and how it works. Um, I did feel a bit overwhelmed at the beginning, but as we used it for a few months, it like started to make sense and it wasn't as difficult to use. One of the recommendations I did have was just set a timer, you know, set the timer for 15, 20 minutes, do as much of the lesson as you can in that time. And then when the timer stops, you stop, you put a little marker, as you can see, I have all my little markers in here marking things. I don't know what I'm marking. But anyway, wherever you are, you just stop, you put a little marker on there and then you pick up where you left off with, with that lesson. Um, the other con, one more con for Right Start is it is pricey. It is a pricey investment, but it is just that. A lot of times if you have multiple children you're going to use it with, um, you invest in all of the manipulatives at the beginning and then you'll use it with each of them as they go through each level and then you just have it and you're ready to go at the beginning. So for a tip for that is to make it affordable, I bought my teacher's guides used and I bought most of our manipulative, manipulatives used and that helped a whole lot. Um, by the way, if any, oh, maybe I'll share it at the end. If you're interested in any of these Right Start, let me know. I might be selling them, let me know. Um, the only problem is it's a first edition, but they are used and I'll make it very affordable for you. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in purchasing any of my teacher's guides. Um, first come, first serve, and maybe you can name your price. Maybe we'll do that. Anyway. <laughs> okay, all right then. And if you are new to homeschooling or considering homeschooling, I have a step-by-step -step guide to get started homeschooling. I included a free checklist if you want to get that before you jump into the guide. But it's for those of you who are maybe first-year homeschoolers or still coming into it this, this year. Um, I would love to help you go step-by-step -step and try to figure out how to get your homeschooling set up. It's very simple. I wanted it to be like simple and straight to the point, just like I like my math curriculum. So you can check that out in the description as well. It's called Ready, Set, Homeschool, a step-by-step -step guide to getting started homeschooling. So I hope that helps. And okay, I'm gonna make sure this is recording. Okay, I was stuck with it. Okay, now friends, let's move on to talking about math with confidence. And this is a fairly new curriculum. It just came out just a few years ago. It is created by Kate Snow. And she, if you've heard of her before, she's done the uh, Math Facts That Stick series. There's addition facts that stick, subtraction facts that stick, et cetera, et cetera. She wrote those and she had a whole blog on Math Helps and she started doing like curriculum reviews and like helping people, how do you teach math and which math is better for this child, et cetera. She had a whole blog on that and I followed her for years because I don't like math. I'm, I don't love math. I can do it, but I can't teach it. I had no idea where to start. And so I was following her for years 
and it was, it was amazing, like so good. But suddenly she's like, oh, I should just make my own curriculum. And I said, yes, yes, you should. Well, no, I didn't say that to her directly, but that was what I was thinking when she said she was making her own curriculum and she did it, yay. So she has kindergarten first and second grade out. Um, and we've used kinder and first, like I said, it is very, very close and similar to Right Start in the method that she uses. It was, I was, it was everything I was looking for when I was doing Right Start. It has the games, it has the hands-on tactile learning, it has the real life math application. Yes, like that is so important for a math curriculum, right? Um, it is streamlined. Like I felt like it didn't take me 45 minutes to do a lesson with one child. They have individual practice. It, 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 it just took everything I loved about Right Start and put it into like a really nice, oh, it's just so good, sorry. So anyway, like I said, the teacher's guide with Right Start was a little bit hard to follow, but the Math with Confidence teacher's guide is wonderful. It is so easy to follow. She has the why we're teaching at the beginning of each chapter, and then she has the what and what do we say, what do we do throughout the lessons. So she separated it out so it's not mixed in in between. There might be a little notes here and there to explain it, but I love that she explains the why behind the what, because then that helps me as their teacher teach them better um, and not have to just rely on outsourcing to a math teacher or getting a DVD program. Uh, this makes it very easy for me as a homeschool mom who doesn't love math to teach the math to my kids who do love math. <laughs> Both of my boys who use this love math. So yeah, it's, it works well for someone like me. I'd like to say that it's like you have a math teacher in the teacher's guide, but it's just like transforming you into the math teacher. Does that make sense? Like it's helping you become the math teacher through the teacher's guide. <laughs> yeah, this, this isn't the teacher's guide, but yeah, you get the point. So let's talk about the pros. That was my quick overview. Hopefully it was quick. The pros are, yes, it is very good for the homeschool mom who doesn't know how to teach math. I've already said that a lot. It's just true. It comes with games. The games are included right in the workbook or in the teacher's guide. It's quick and easy to do and we love them. Yeah, and they're good. It has some manipulatives, very similar to Right Start. I use a lot of my Right Start manipulatives with Math with Confidence, but a lot of it is just stuff you can find around the house or you can purchase easily at Walmart or on Amazon. Yeah, just really great, easy stuff. Um, it doesn't use... It doesn't use the abacus, it uses these, the double 10 frames. So she uses, it's very similar to the abacus as you can see. So there are times, there are times in our Right Start, our Math with Confidence lessons, I'll pull out the abacus and we'll still use it. Um, but we also use the 10 frames. I um, laminated this one. I didn't laminate this one yet. Elaminated? That's not a word, is it? The other pro for Math with Confidence is it's affordable. It's affordable. I just... I couldn't find anything like it <laughs> for what you get for just the student workbook workbook and the teacher's guide. It, it was easy to pay that for one year for my child for math. And I really like the price that it's at. And the other pro is the lessons. They're simple and they're not too long and, but they cover everything. You know, they're not just like tap in and go, but they cover it long enough that it's good and they get it. And then you play the game, then they do their individual practice and you're done. And and I love it. I love that streamlined part of that curriculum. And the workbook is simple and it's not too overwhelming. If you have a child that gets overwhelmed with looking at too many problems on a page, then these workbooks, they're so nice. They're super simple and they don't overwhelm and they cover it just enough. So it's not like not enough. So they're not getting enough. They're like doing two problems and you say, yeah, you got it. Good job. It's not that <laughs> you get just enough. I'll just say that <laughs> it's enough and simple and well done. Okay, do I have cons for math with confidence? Not very many. It's still teacher intensive, but it's doable because it's short. It gives me 10 to maybe 20 minutes of teacher teaching time. Really, like that's it. And I, I like that, I can do that. Um, and that's it, <laughs> that's it. That's the only cons that I have with math with confidence, so yeah. So let's come down to the, the question. Which one is better? Which one should you choose? Which one is right for your family? That's a good question, friend. Good question. And here's my answer. I'm gonna say it depends. <laughs> so how much money do you have to spend on your math curriculum per child, per year? That's what you need to consider. 
that is, that's definitely something you need to consider, but don't let that stop you. I think both are incredibly good math curriculum programs. They're both incredible and good. I would never say anything completely bad about either one because I think they're both well done. They're both very well done. They've had people put their heart and soul into it and they teach kids math and that's the goal. Like what is our goal with kids in teaching math? Um, is it to have them do math for five minutes a day? Maybe not, that's maybe not our goal. Um, is, is our goal for our kids to understand math concepts and to be able to do everyday real life math and to be able to have a household or have a job someday? Who knows what those goals are, but think about those goals and I've lost my track where I was going. And both of these programs, that's where I was going. <laughs> um, both of these programs can fit those goals. I really think they can. And I love that they both make it fun and include games. So, so you're not just sitting on with a piece of paper writing down two times two is four, three times two is six. You're not, it's just not just with a piece of paper doing that. It's, it's more hands-on in real life. So yeah, that's what you have to consider is what is your budget or what are you able to spend? Maybe Right Start can be one that you can do for your family because you can afford it. If you can afford it, do it. And maybe you have the time or maybe you have older kids so your 11 year old can play the games with your seven year old and you, it's not all on you on one teacher. So consider those things. But I personally have chosen to continue with Math with Confidence. So that's what I've personally chosen. But I want to emphasize that doesn't mean Right Start is a bad choice, okay? So it's not a bad choice. But I've given you my reasons of why I would choose Math with Confidence over Right Start. And I hope that helps. Okay, so now for the goodies. Like I said, if you want to watch my Right Start Math flip through and review, you can watch that here. I also have a flip through. And there. I also have a flip through of the kindergarten math with confidence. You can watch that. And I should have a first grade do a lesson with me math with confidence video. Um, it's either come out last week or it's coming out next week. So just be on the lookout for that one. And hopefully that helps you as well. If you want to get any of these curriculums, you can check my link in the description below and go say hi to Kate Snow and tell her I sent you. I'm not sponsored for any of this content, guys. I really... I just like Kate Snow. She's wonderful. Very smart lady. <laughs> and has helped me a ton in math with, with my family. And I will see you guys uh, next time. Have a great day.